Hi friends! You guessed it by the look of the thumbnail. Part 2 covering travel makeup brushes, makeup bags, all that stuff. I'll link my original video up, up in the card here and down in the description box explaining what my go-to makeup bag is and the type of products and brushes I like to bring along for the ride. Filming that video, reading through your comments, editing it, I was inspired to take it a step further. How small can I pack my makeup? Meaning how little amount of product can I bring along that will keep me sane, that will keep the FOMO levels relatively low and I'll still be able to achieve beautiful makeup looks. And one of you had asked that I show the Away makeup bag a little more here. There are timestamps down below if you need to skip over to the, the main part of the video. And hi, I'm Alicia. If it's your first time clicking on my face, online coach who specializes in flexibility, body weight training, and helping those acquire a sustainable habit so we can live a little better. I just wanted to spotlight this temporarily. I guess there are not a lot of reviews on this makeup bag, but as you can see, there is the brush holder compartment that has the snaps on the back. The main compartment, you have uh, some depth here with the plastic sleeve that zippers around. Inside, you have an attached pouch that's made of what I feel is neoprene. So you can place your smaller items in here and then the rest of your items on top and then close everything together. I like that there's a little bit of space here between the main compartment and the brush side. And that's where I like to place my brush towel in between the main compartment and the brush holder just so that you know the brushes have something softer to lay on when the bag is closed and the actual material is like a water resistant nylon blend I believe this also comes in black so if you don't want the rose color you can get the black you also have the leather strap here they did come out with another bag let me go grab it. This was definitely more of a splurge and I think it was limited edition. You see it has an iridescent finish on the leather and I think the inside is plastic. You have these compartment zippered compartments here on the side and a general big compartment through and through. This is more of like a general toiletry bag, whereas the cosmetic bag I think is specifically designed for makeup and Away does have other toiletry-like bag designs such as the hanging toiletry bag shape, others that look more like the cosmetic bag. So that is the Away travel bag, but I wanted to show another makeup bag that I use actually at Bay's house. Maybe more appropriate for weekend getaway trips, anything under a week. And listen, if you could use this amount of makeup for a week, fine. Other considerations too, that you're traveling ground, you're not flying, you don't have to worry about packing as many liquids, so you could kind of go willy-nilly. And in the end, fam, if you have the space and the room, like if you're packing up in a car or whatnot, and you don't have to worry about paying extra for luggage, weight, and all that stuff, you could bring whatever you want. I just think it's fun to challenge myself as a person who overpacks, overthinks, just it, you know, just so much stuff. And when I get to my destination, I have all this extra makeup that I ended up not using, just carrying extra things that just doesn't make any sense. So I wanted to downsize even more from my previous video. And here is the Dagny Dover. I think this is like the, I forgot the official name, but it's a toiletry bag that you could use for makeup and or skincare. I have both sizes here, the larger and the smaller. This is how they look side by side. And here you have the length side by side. I just think it's a practical design. And I actually place these in my kitty away that you can lay it flat. And the there's a little bit of squish that can happen. It's not going to crush your makeup, but the luggage zipper's fine. Uh, you don't have like an extra bump, so don't feel like this is gonna take up space. I just lay it flat and it's okay to go. You have the zipper here, and when opening it, I have my, my towel, of course, always on hand. And here is the inside of the makeup bag. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, there is a removable grid that has a Velcro lining that you can take out. I like the grid. It just keeps everything upright, intact. I can see everything at once. 
You know what I mean? I think that's an advantage to having a bag like this. In addition, you have like a little key ring here that you could put maybe like a scrunchie or a hair accessory. And you have the zipper top that you could hold smaller items in. And when everything is said and done, this towel pretty small to begin with, I fold it in a way that, let's see here, okay. Trifold lengthways, trifold widthways. It fits perfectly inside, flap it on, and you close it. Even the brow pencil, you could just push it over to the side, it'll close fine. Now, let's go over what I brought along and what I wanted to prioritize. Again, if it's a weekend getaway and you feel whatever event or space you'll be in, you don't need to look super glam in your face, then I would suggest you bring uh, your tint or even use a concealer to take care of any uneven tone, blemishes, hardcore blemishes, Foundation stick is what I immediately think of when dealing with this type of a design. And also if you're flying, one less liquid to think about. Some items that come to mind, this is pretty old, but the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation Stick, uh, the Westman Atelier Foundation Stick. I'm sure there are other foundation sticks that have thus released, but those are the ones that I have. In here for now, I brought the Rose Ink Skin Tint. And in addition to that, I mixed that together with the LY concealer and the say concealer if you wanted to pack a luminizer technically yes the say can fit in here it will make it heavier it will make it heavier but you can still close it you could get the travel size but the sun glow does not come in the travel size and if you want to see everything slapped on well I think it's time for you to come in a little closer <gasps> That's enough. First slapped on again my rose ink. And yes, hypothetically, if I brought along the say, I'll pump in a little bit of the say, not too much. You could also pump on the say first and then the rose ink after, or say first and then slap on your foundation after. Again, this cocktail is not for coverage, more so for luminosity, radiance, uniformity in my skin tone. If there's a redness, unevenness, I think this combination tackles that well. For the portions that need a little more coverage, if you want that coverage, this is where I'll go in with my concealer. And I would argue, and a point I brought up in my original video, you can use concealer easily for a little more coverage as well as even of skin tone. I like the Say for my all over and the LYS for my under eyes because as you see, the Say a little warmer than the LYS. So just some brightening there for the under eyes for contrast. And you're like, well, that's great, Alicia. You have all the makeup in one bag. What about the brushes? Here I use one of Sonia's smaller brush envelopes. And yeah, I also packed her kiyaki set. Two Velcro tabs with a snap, and inside I have her travel kiyaki set, which, you know, I used for the last couple of days and covered all the tasks. So here is the mini base, which re-released as the classic base in her Fusion set last year, and a perfect brush head size for under the eyes, as you see. But since I just applied concealer on portions of my face, I just need to take this smaller brush around for a ride. It blends everything quickly, and the Say Concealer melts well with my Rose Ink and Say Sun Glow Concoction. It doesn't look uneven, it doesn't look out of place, just the right amount of coverage. Again, I'm approaching this with the perspective or through the lens of vacation, easy, in and out the door. You might be going to a wedding or a party. Perhaps you have to pack a medium coverage foundation instead, medium coverage concealer. Again, you could replace the tint with your stick moisturizer. And for days that you don't want to apply that foundation all over, then just use your skincare and spot treat with your stick foundation the areas that need more coverage and evening. And you got like a lighter 
coverage moment just from that combination. The same combination you use for medium to full coverage. Palgia, I mentioned this in my previous video, the Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Powder. This is nudged in a, a portion of the bag that ensures it won't get knocked around because if this finds itself loosey-goosey in any makeup baggy pack, it could crack because it's very air light in texture. The brush that I use is the Classic Face. Yes, it's wide and pretty big for under eye, but you know what, I don't find it. It's so easy just to get under the eye. Yes, we don't need to be super precise with the under eye powder. And then medium size for other portions of my face that I want a little more and is very wispy in nature. It gets the powder on there quickly. Next up, I have my brow pencil. Benefit does have travel size pencils. Mm, I don't know if it's worth buying that separately. I would say just bring the full size with you and something smaller. Listen, if I can't put it in here, I can slide it in one of the brush sleeves in here. Yeah, so I feel a brow pencil, if that is your tool of choice, will find itself easy in, in any of these packing options. I'll also show an alternative. If, let's say, your brows are microbladed, you don't need penciling, but you could benefit <laughs> from a brow gel or like a, a brow filler, one of those formulas that like brush through brow fibery things. And zippered here on the top is my, uh, what is this called officially? The Gimme Brow, okay? This is a mini. So, okay, fine. I got the mini in the Gimme Brow in shade number three. So this side, you have the pencil, but on days where you have to be out, however, the brows need to be fluffed, Gimme Brow has a little bit of pigment as well as volumizing properties that would give the brow shape. So I didn't have to pencil it and it still looks pretty much together. Now, sure, you'll have to zero in on my face to kind of catch the holes that the Gimme Brow did not take care of. However, you know, again, who cares? So that is the Gimme Brow by itself. That is the Goof Proof by itself. You see there's a little more structure to the Goof Proof and a little more of a, a freestyle, just kind of like, ooh, out the door feel and vibe with this brow, I think quintessential if you're looking to pack light, but pack the, the right product to bring the complexion, the brows, everything together quickly. You could do the brow setter as well, but I do like the Gimme Brow for a little bit of the color it offers. And again, uh, an extra bit of fluff for some brow texture. Up next, cheek products. I had to bring along the Rare Beauty uh, Effortless Warm, I, the official name is so long, but anyway. This shade is always sunny. I appreciate the coloring because it's on the warmer side. Now, you don't necessarily need a brush for the tint, the concealer, or even this bronzer. It's pretty easy to blend out with your fingers. Yeah, you just use a light flicky motion if you, if you wish to, but because I have the mini base on hand, I feel it is a faster blend. Yeah, very easy to work into the skin. And as you can tell, if you bring it a little lower, it won't appear muddy, but just offer that warmth, I think, that emulates a tan well. If you wanted, you could, you know, brush this through the eyes. It emulates warmth well, and it doesn't look overwhelmingly sculpted, right? So... You could stop here, slap on some gloss, and I think this this looks pretty nice already. For blush, I have the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush on standby because, again, I think an optimal shape to pack in this specific type of a bag. I just brought along my Phytosurgeons Surgeon's Skin Spark Blush Bombs. They're very easy to pack here at the top. They don't take up much space. Uh, yesterday, I used the color Singe. I could also mix up Singe and Inferno. Yes, I didn't have to bring both, but you know. When they fit, just bring both. But Singe has been my go-to, all over perfect everyday flush shade. Inferno is like my go-to burnt sun, sunburnt look terracotta vibe. But you know, if the pink is warm enough and has like that 
peachy coral tan undertone to it. I'm all for it. And again, as you see, Singe is just so effortless to apply, not only with the brush, but with fingers. So if you don't want to bring any brushes and you're going super minimal and the products you're dealing with are cream products, uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Highlighter, sticks, okay. I have the Suku stick. I believe this is returning uh, in the fall. On July 22nd, if I'm not mistaken, this is in 101, the Universal Bomb Shade. Listen, when I don't have the room, but I need the highlighter, this formula, easy to apply, as you can see, great with a finger application. And although it has a bomb texture, it's not sticky. And the set is, it doesn't set down completely like the, the Phytal Surgeon's Spectral Shine is a dry cream, right? So maybe if you're more on the oily part of the spectrum, this I feel great for normal to dry. And when it does set, there's no tackiness, it's just, it feels like a skin product, right? But look at just how easy, and again, a little bit of shine on the cheekbones to add dimension. So we have all that on, okay. You can stop here. I also brought my eyelash curler. I just stuck it in here. I have my scissors. So there are these elastic rings that you can maybe put a smaller items like your lip liner, eyeliner, or your skizzer. So I like to, you know, depending on where I'm at during the month, gotta snip those brow hair shorter. You could also put your tweezers here. I have my tweezers here, my skincare bag. So I have my tweezers snuck in there. I could just do a little switchy switch and slide them here. Yeah, so you got your tools there. Now is optional eyeshadow. I forgot to mention this eyeshadow palette in my first video. Uh, the Vizier Petite Pro format beyond ideal look at this it doesn't take up any room at all i just slide this right in there you're there eight shadows i would argue sure you could take along a suku quad but the suku quad is only giving you four shadows and if you're already on the edge about bringing less and you're like no no no, no i'm not compromising the eyeshadow okay let's go. you can even bring two you could sneak in too, but I thought Apricotine was a great palette for, again, a vacation type of a setting. Even if it's a wedding, like you could get some really nice looks here. If you wanted something more classic than the Petite Pro Un or, or Trois, those first four or three have like the more neutral, cooler tones if you really wanted to amp it up. I was feeling this story, especially when bringing along Singe and Inferno. In fact, yesterday I skipped primer and it was oddly satisfying applying a matte Viseart shadow on my oily lids and seeing it transform into like a cream shadow. Some of you might find that to be gross. I get it. I just wanted to try something quickly and it was a lovely bronzy look I achieved. So let's show how I did that. In the Kiyaki set, you have the Jumbo Blender. Originally, the Jumbo Blender was released in the Eye Sky set. With dyed goat hair, this is undyed, so you could use this creams tapping into this dark brown here, which again, it's just gonna, it's just gonna slide across my lids very easily. And what I love about the Jumbo Blender is that it has a wide surface area to slap the shadow on quickly, and then the fluffy edges soft enough that you can pull that shadow now through your crease. I love apricotine. Same thing here on the other side. I also brought along my Pat McGrath Permagel liner in black coffee. Again, I think I, I just need that in the travel makeup bag. You never know if you want a little more intensity, then yes, slap that on first all over the lid so you can get a really nice dark base going. And then whatever eyeshadow you decide to apply there on after is gonna take on that intensity. So here we have the lids going. This by itself is great. Maybe I'll slap on a little more on the lower lash line, but you can stop here and apply mascara and you're done. I wanted to take this light color here just to brush through the edges to give a little more of a, a prominent gradient, right? Because why not? The shade's in the palette, so I might as well just use it. And again, the Jumbo Blender is so smooth that although not a traditional cone teardrop shaped blender, 
it does the job quickly and beautifully. I'm just slapping on a little bit more here on the outer part of the lid. In the Kiyaki set, we also have the coveted mini booster. This also came originally as dyed goat hair in the Kiyaki is undyed. I'm taking that brown mat and pulling it across the lower lash line here. So soft and great if you have smaller eyes. If you want this to be your main blender of choice, then you can use this through the crease instead of the jumbo blender. Now, what can we do for the lids? Well, I like to just slap on this metallic bronze shade on top of the matte, or you could take any of these if you want a little more a contrast, but this is such a beautiful metallic shade on top of the, the neutral brown matte, or I should actually say the warmer brown matte. It gives a little more shine, but then the matte underneath gives it more depth, right? So if you want it to appear like a smoky brown eye, then you can slap that right on top. If you want it more of the copper eye, then you can slap the copper on top. I can also take that bronze metallic with the mini booster and just trail it along the lower lash line. If I wanted to create more of a haze here, because again, I love the effect and the smooth metallic formula in this palette just makes it so easy to apply. I could have taken that metallic on its own with the jumbo blender, slapped it on my lid and pulled it through my crease easily. Now in the set, there is the flat definer. I could not find for the life of me the flat definer. So I so I packed a very small Ehoro shadow liner brush. It looks like the flat definer. This is a little smaller. Though for the purpose of, again, if I wanted to apply a little bit of liner, just for demo's sake, I can pull this across the lash line. And also don't forget to pack a sharpener. You have enough space in here, you can actually put it in this compartment easily because if you are bringing along brushes, I think it helpful to have that in the makeup bag. Nothing more uncomfortable than trying to apply a short stubby eye pencil where the wood scratches your lids. Why put yourself through that? And I'm almost at that point, so look who's talking. And this brush is great not only to blend out liner, but you could also use it to place an uh, inner corner highlight for a more precise uh, placement there. But the brush I brought along for that task is my Koyudo Silver Fox shader brush. This is so tiny compared to the Ehoro brush, but you see there's a little more length here. It's very flat still but superb for inner corner placement, not necessarily tear duct, but more so getting to that inner part of the lid if you want a little more color, and it just fits so well here. And I like to overlap the first color we apply, so there's a really nice gradient that goes from now like this coral duochrome into the bronze. If I wanted, I can take the darker copper shade and brush that on the inner part of the lower lash line and take it all the way across. And now the lighter golden champagne shade right smack here on the inner corner, overlapping that coral duochrome. I think it makes for a really nice cocktailing. And of course, this brush is great because it's flat, you just take a little bit of that golden champagne shade and place it here on the brow arch. And then you're done, look at that. And if you didn't wanna go this route, I could have gone in with any of these matte solo just to have a little more color on the lid, tapped on any of these metallics, or maybe use this shade as like smoky brackets if I wanted a little more a dimension there. So yeah, I brought this along, loved it. Gonna put this back. And now with the mascara, one of you had asked what mascara remover for the Kill Lash because the Kill Lash is really intense, waterproof. I mean, it, listen, they were not kidding when they said super proof. The Bifista Eye Makeup Remover, that's also, I believe, a 
I think is a Japanese brand. I'm not sure if it's Korean or Japanese, but I have like 10 bottles of that stuff on backup. That's the one for me or any oil-based eye makeup remover is going to be your surefire bet to remove this. If you try to use Bioderma or any micellar water, it's not coming off. You might get a little bit off, but you'll end up ruining your lashes in the process. Even bombs, I think, are not powerful enough to take this off. So no, you have to own the appropriate eye makeup remover for this type of mascara. People like to use the Neutrogena, the Lancome, the Bifista for me has been, ever since Sephora stopped making their originally formulated eye makeup remover, I don't like the newer ones, so I'm weird with it. I've just been using the Bifista and it removes this like butter. And I do pack both because I have the room. Going in with the Esom right after the Kill Lash. Because this is more of a smoky look we're doing, I'm applying both mascaras for that full effect. You also have some room in here to pack your falsies. The falsies that I've been loving are the Ardell Natural 421. These guys here. Stand by, I'm trying to get them out of the drawer. These right here, great to pack along. I can sell them right there. Even, let's see, I put my powder here. Just put them somewhere in there. Just gotta slide it in somewhere. You'll find the room. If you wanna pack lashes, uh, the bigger lash boxes, like those super luxe kind, I don't know if you wanna bring those. Maybe you'll get uh, lash extensions instead. Some people just find it less of a hassle to worry about their mascara or bringing, you know, uh, eyelash colors or whatever, another eye makeup remover. So those choices, I think you have to decide which will be right for you. I don't mind bringing mascara. Lash extensions are cool. I have them at some point. I don't know, I just like putting on mascara. What can I say? Lips, I have a few lip products here. Oh, by the way, I can store an eye primer. This is the Linda Halberg primer. It's very small. It fits right next to my Sugu highlighter, right there. No problem at all. For the lips, I have a few items. I actually brought along uh, the Suku Flawless Lip Gloss, one of the Suku Fluid Fogs in a limited edition shade 109. Also the Pat McGrath Structure Permagel Lip Liner, as well as the LH Cosmetics Lip Liner, very smooth, long lasting. This is in the shade Sepia. And what I did is apply Sepia first, followed by Suku's Lip Fluid Fog in 109. You can end it here, or you can slap on a little bit of the gloss. Something else I didn't mention is uh, tinted lip balms are great. It doesn't have to be an actual lip product. You can do a tinted lip balm instead. This is the Fluid Fog. It does dry down to like a soft matte finish. But if you want a little bit more shine, it's how it on right here. And here is the finished look, everyone, using the makeup in our smaller travel bag situation. I hope this helped in providing you more ideas. Uh, maybe you want to challenge yourself on the next trip to not bring as much. And even if you do, it's fine. You know, you're not being canceled for bringing too much makeup or too much brushes. I think all of you had valid reasons as to why you bring extra face brushes, extra eye brushes, a backup palette or what have you. I find that sometimes I just get too much in my head about what to bring, what if this happens, what if that happens. And there's just something about having a smaller amount of items and making it work. Challenging, and I speak for myself, uh, knowing that you have what you need, the reason why we spend money on certain products is because the formulas are, are bulletproof or seamless or easy to use, uh, different circumstances, different situations, they will still make it happen. You will have beautiful makeup no matter what. That's why I have the Viseyar and the Say and, and all these different products, again, that no matter what, is you're gonna be fine. And again, yes, largely due to the design of this makeup bag specifically, if you had something of equal size but a different design, you can still get away with it. I just like the fact that my makeup products are standing up like this. You can see everything at once, you could pick up, put it down, and not fall over. You're not rummaging through a ton of product at once if you have like this huge makeup bag and smaller items like your eye pencils get lost or even your concealers get lost and all these things. What would be even more impressive is if I had my makeup and skincare all in one. That might have to be for another video. 
I'm gonna have to plan that out. Looking at what I have, uh, definitely will have to take out the say. That will be a separate moisturizer. Or if you do bring a makeup product, like let's say if you bring the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin that's quite emollient, maybe this could be your moisturizer. Or even the NARS Light Reflecting. Still would want to bring my highlighter, uh, maybe take out the Suku Lip Fluid Fog and just bring my lip gloss. Probably would forego the bronzer stick. I would have to then just bring one concealer, one mascara. Okay, we're getting down to it. Keeping the eyeshadow. Now what else? Well, I will have to bring my sunscreen, so we're gonna fit that in there. This might be a little too tall for this. I will have to choose a, a smaller tube. Also, my tretinoin, so I'm gonna slap that in there somewhere. Moisturizer, I do have my small travel size good molecules, but again, relying on the rose ink for my for my moisturizer and my vitamin C. I did recently buy the Mad Hippie, so I'm gonna put that here, slide the mascara over there. See, now this is where it gets tricky, where I'm gonna put my contacts, my floss. Okay, the floss goes there. Toothpaste, small toothpaste, could put it in there. Ooh, we're going minimal, minimal, minimal. My little eye gel from Good Molecules, put that in there. Can't bring my Laneige, can't bring my uh, Youth to the People Mandelic Acid. If I do bring my contacts, probably could only take now one cream blush. Well, let's see if it's a weekend getaway, how many eyes do I have here? I have around three. So one day uh, glasses. So let me put my dailies in there. I use dailies, so I gotta bring a few. So the dailies fit in there. Let's take along one hair tie for bed. So I'll take along the smaller silk scrunchie, not the bigger one. All right, ooh, but what about cleanser? Yeah, man, I'm probably gonna have to use the bigger one. It can be done. I just bring them separately because it's, I just bring them separately. I could have a smaller one of these and just dedicate a smaller bag to my skincare and then still have my smaller bag for makeup. Still think that won't take up as much space as it could. I could really load up for skincare, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's that practical. I just bring the bare minimum Listen, the most important stuff, my tretinoin, my vitamin C, and everything else, my cleansers, I have my mini good molecules, uh, instant cleansing balm. I do use the rose water cleanser, and that's glass. That's a pain to take. I would just have to put that in something smaller. But anyway, I went off on a little tangent. Thank you so much for coming with me. Let me know what is the smallest you can do, fam. The must-have products that you're okay with taking along either for a week and get away or for a week. The brushes too, what sacrifices you need to make. I'll see you down in the comments. And until then, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I will see you on here again with another review tutorial, travel makeup bag extravaganza, or monthly faves. Take care and I will see you again soon.